Hi everybody, this is Avalon from Crafts Direct. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own tie-dye sweatsuit. Now, I know you can't see, but I'm actually wearing tie-dye sweatpants as well that match this. And if you watch this whole video, I will show you at the end what the whole outfit looks like. I am super pumped about this project because I think it turned out just beyond adorable and not to mention it is super comfy as well. Follow along and I will show you step by step how you can make your own tie-dye sweatsuit. The first thing you will do is set up your workspace. I like to have a few layers of either paper or a drop cloth and then the very top layer I like to use a garbage bag. And then once we are done dyeing, we will wrap up the sweatshirt and sweatpants in the garbage bag. Wash your sweatshirt and sweatpants in the washer, but then you're going to want to take them out and leave them damp. Start at the bottom of the sweatpants and you will begin to crumple the fabric together. You will slowly start working your way up the leg of the sweatpant. The more fabric that you grab at once to create a little crumple or a mound, the more white space that you are going to get. So this is really up to you. If you want there to be more color, then you're going to want to grab just tiny bits of fabric at a time to make smaller crumples. Next, you will take the crew neck sweatshirt that has already been washed and should still be damp. And you will do the same thing that you just did with the sweatpants and you will use the crumple method to just crumple your sweatshirt up. Next, you will grab two cups of hot water. It doesn't fit into a squeezy bottle, so you'll just have to put it in a large bowl. And then next, you're going to grab your RIT powder dye, and we're going to add half a teaspoon of dye to the water. My little measuring cup is for a fourth teaspoon, so I'm gonna add two of those to the water mixture. Next, you are going to add a tablespoon of salt, and this just helps the fabric absorb the dye better. So you will add that tablespoon of salt. And then next, I like to put my gloves on because I'm about to stir everything together and I just wanna be extra careful about not getting the dye on my skin. So next, you'll put on your gloves and then mix it all together. Once you are done mixing the dye, you will then pour it into both of the squeezy bottles. Make sure you put the cap on both of the bottles, and then you want to shake it up to just make sure that the powder dye and the salt is all dissolved. Now you will start to tie dye and you will completely cover the front of the sweatshirt and the sweatpants. I wasn't too concerned about making sure that it was completely saturated in color. I like leaving some little white parts, so that's totally up to you. And you will just tie-dye the fronts of both the sweatshirt and sweatpants. Next, we are going to flip the sweatshirt and sweatpants over. And just to help me kind of keep everything together, I do like to add some rubber bands to the corners just to help me so that when I flip it over, it doesn't come apart too much. This is totally up to you if you want to do it. Otherwise, just be really careful when you flip it over to try to keep all the folds in place. I used both squeezy bottles when I did the front of the sweatshirt and sweatpants. So if you are also in that same boat, you are gonna have to go back and mix up some more dye, but you will just follow the same steps that we did before. 
And then once you mix it up and have the dye in the squeezy bottles, you will then tie dye the backs of the sweatshirt and sweatpants and you will do it the same way that you did the front of it. Grab the ends of the garbage bag and you will cover the sweatshirt and sweatpants and then you will let it sit for a few hours before you take them out and start to rinse them in the sink. To be extra careful, I always like to put gloves on when I'm rinsing the tie-dye. And then you will take off all of the rubber bands and begin to rinse your tie-dye in cold water. And you just want to run it through the water until you notice that the water is running clear and that you want to make sure you get through all of the fabric. Wring out the fabric the best you can, and then you're gonna do the same with the sweatpants as well. And then once both have been rinsed, you can either hang them up to dry or run them through the dryer. And then after that, your sweatsuit is ready to be worn and enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the products needed to make your own tie-dye sweatsuit at craftsdirect.com projects.